All right, welcome back to the journey of Nico and Piss here in one shot. I was just gearing up to record this episode when I saw a comment with a very good idea. Since we're here in the Barrens anyway, I should test out the document that you get from this computer here. Because we already know that you get that first document that I can just show you on the screen right now. I'll be doing a bunch of screenshots and stuff where it's all corrupted and stuff and I left this journal and blah blah blah, the, the safe code in the quarry, here's the code, and all of that stuff. But then, when you do this in New Game Plus, it changes and it was like uncorrupted and I can't remember what it said then, we'll check it out I suppose, and apparently there might be more of them if you just keep adding New Game cycles to that, so since we're here, might as well make use of the save utility and take it for a spin and get some documents rendered out and see what all of that is all about. So, uh, I kind of didn't even need to start the game like this, but I guess you can enjoy watching this robot walk around for a second. Because now, Piss, Piss, can you hear me? Yep. There we go. Now, I don't want to continue here. I, I actually just want to quit the game again, so let me just do that, and then we'll open up the save utility, and now what do we do? Do we set it to solstice? Does it have to be that? Like, if I set this to, for some reason it says playthroughs 2, even though this shouldn't be playthroughs 2, right? I don't really know how it works, like if you say playthrough type as first, will it just override the playthrough amount and it has to be Solstice for it to count as New Game Plus? I don't know, but I guess we'll set it to Solstice instead and then say playthroughs 1, right? Playthroughs has been set to 1. Let's try this out and see what that does, I'm not sure if that's correct. All right, so now let's see what the PC says this time. And I should be able to just go right now and yeah, check it. It just changed and aha, it's different. So give me a second while I make this a screenshot that I can actually show you. All right, there we go. Pretty simple. It just says the code you need is 485466. And I don't remember if that was actually what it looked like back when I did the Solstice playthrough. I can check my files, I should have it somewhere, I'm pretty sure I showed it on screen. Yeah, here it is, and it's the exact same, just different code. So, now, once again, we force quit the game, and we go back to the save utility and we set playthroughs to two. And we see if that has any difference at all. Maybe it doesn't. Wait for the screen. And check it out. Not that you really need the screen, so that's kind of pointless. And now we check it again. No, it's a different code, but it just says the same thing. The code you need is blank. But I'm not sure if that's because I'm... Hmm. No. I can't really think of, like, if it's because I'm not technically in Solstice, because I guess you can engage Solstice before you talk to the the computer here. That's possible, right? But I, I doubt that's right. Let me try it one more time. Nope. Just the same one line, so it doesn't change. Was this the, the thing that I was supposed to test? I can't even remember if this was it or if it was something else. But this is nothing, at least. And the other ones, the like one-shot password documents, those can't change either, because those are only for Solstice and not for new game cycles. So I don't think this is anything, unfortunately. I kind of wanted it to be something, but it doesn't seem like it is. So I guess we'll move on from that now, and I'll just quit the game again. And I've prepared a backup. I just did a little bit more, jumped ahead, 
just so we can test the, the one tiny thing I wanted to test with a jelly. It's completely pointless, but might as well. And then we have to complete the barons, so one second. Here we are. Are you still there? It happened again. Yep. And now we all have all of this stuff. So what I wanted to try was just empty syringe on the jelly, filling up the syringe. And then we try using the syringe back on the jelly. Okay, so that's nothing. And then fill syringe on the sponge. Can't combine them. So that's, that's it. Did I try the syringe on the smoke? I can't really remember. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I tried like everything else here. Yeah, that's nothing. And if we put this in here... Wait, hold on. I have another idea. What if I now go and fill the syringe again and then put more in the bottle? That's something I haven't tried. Yeah, filling it again. And then bottle of pond water. I can't combine those. Damn it! How boring. Hold still. So yeah, now we need to go and talk to the head engineer before we can actually set out. So let's go do that, I suppose. And, oh, that's the wrong one. And I'm pretty sure I know- God damn it! stop everything. I'm pretty sure I know what's gonna happen. Because I did take a quick look at the script. I still haven't read the entire thing, because it's, it's a lot to read, but... I kind of feel like I should, just to make sure I get as much as possible out of this. And then we have to play chess, of course. There we go. Wait, right, I set this to like playthrough 3, let's just quickly go and check. Is it actually possible to just initiate Solstice right now? Surely not, right? The yellow light is gone now. And the journal doesn't glow. Maybe it would have worked if I switched over earlier, but maybe not. Maybe it's like, before you enter the, uh, the mine, you have to switch over, because otherwise it'll render it as the, like, normal mine map and not the Solstice mine map. I don't even know. But, yeah, nothing there for right now. Oh, right, I can travel from here. I always forget. Right, and then we need to sleep as well, I forgot. All right, here we go. And now let's not skip past it too fast. This boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar or this gas mask and gloves, but that's it. This is acceptable. Yep, no line about the television remote because we actually keep it and I'll have it now here in the Glen. And that's what I saw in the script, so the television remote did not have a line here at the boat, but it did have a line at the very, very end at the window, which makes sense. So that's where you could read the uh, television remote, and if you just... Oh, I wonder... No, Alula doesn't have it. That would be interesting if you could, like, show Alula or the traitor! Oh, we have to try that. We have to show the trader, the remote, because that might actually be something, but probably not. Farewell. Goodbye. Wait. Oh. No, I don't have it. Damn. The game just robbed me. Then how do you keep the remote? Because that was a line. How do you still have the remote? Oh, wait, is it that simple that I just need to, hold on, I'm gonna just, 
Uh, when did it save? Like, right here. I mean, it doesn't matter. I can just, like, quit the game and make a save here. So I'm just gonna save that and make sure I have that. Though, I, I guess, in that case, I don't need it. I was actually gonna play through the entire game. Not right now, but I was planning on playing through the entire game to the very end so we could just see that that one line, just in case. But it doesn't seem like that's it, so let me save this. And now we're back here instead. And we input the code, which I can't remember. It was like 9052? Wow, I am surprised I remember that. Holy crap. So now we pick up the, uh, yeah, I have one shot, whatever. Now we pick up the remote. And then we check it in the window. I didn't do this. Nico can glimpse the, f the face of the remote. All of the numbers, blah blah, they're marked in bright colors. And nothing. How does that line make any sense then? Where do you see that? I'm actually out of ideas, because yeah, I thought... I'm not sure how you managed to keep the remote, besides just like actually hacking the game or whatever. Or like, back when it was RPG Maker, that would have been pretty easy to do, but in this case, I, I don't really know. So... Yeah, I'm kind of out of ideas for, for this one. I wanted to get this to the very end, but I don't think I can. And the remote isn't even in New Game Plus or anything like that, right? Because that's Solstice, and when you do that, you have to... I was actually wondering about that, because that's kind of a weird thing. So, when I did New Game Plus, I didn't know that I was playing Solstice yet. But when I went into New Game Plus, there was no remote, and you had to solve this this computer puzzle by just finding the Solstice line and then typing Solstice as a password. But then, before Solstice was added into the game, did you still have to do that? Did you still get the, like, author messages spelling out the Solstice with, like, big, bold letters? back then, before people knew what Solstice was and it even was a thing in the game. So you still had to do that to initiate New Game Plus, but then there was no further mention of Solstice. Is that it? Or how did it work? I'm really curious about that, and a lot of these things I don't think I can actually ever do because of the nature of the updates that happened. Because if there was a time when you could do New Game Plus and still have the controller, then then I don't know how to do that, so that's a bit unfortunate. Also, I guess we might as well test something else while I'm here. So I'm just gonna quit and record, and then I'm gonna just delete the save file itself, and now I will open the save utility, and then mark it as first playthrough, but playthroughs two, sure, two. Playthrough number has been set to two, and now we just start up the game and start playing. Will it be New Game Plus or not? Probably not, because I haven't set it to Solstice, but I, I need to test that. Hello? No shellag. And there is a remote right here. Yep. Okay, so that was nothing. And then we set it as Solstice, but one playthrough, sure. And now there's no remote. Hello, Schlag? Huh. That's odd. And yeah. Now it'll be like this. Oh! Wait, but I didn't set in the save utility, I didn't set it to Solstice in with a PC. So I need to go and do that, of course. So, uh, for now, oh, I can't even, wow, if you press the X mark on the window, nothing happens. It doesn't even tell you you can't do it in a cutscene like normal. All right, here we are, but when I do set it to Solstice, it does say it'll take effect next playthrough. So I'm not sure if this is going to work, but let's just check it. So if I do that, 
I need to open my documents folder again because I closed it. Alright, there it is. And yeah, it still says the same thing, just the code you need is blah blah blah. But let's quit the game again. And just set the playthroughs to four. No, three. And once again, it's the same. Okay, but there's one last thing I want to try with this, because... Uh... I'm just gonna quit the game, but then I'm gonna just start it up right away in the same save, just so we don't have to go through the cutscene with a world machine, doesn't really matter. But now... Since I've said that it's supposed to be Solstice, if I go over here... Will I be in the Solstice Cave? Probably not. Oh shit, I am! Really? The yellow light is gone. And then we step here. And then use the glowing journal. That is very interesting. Did you see that piss? I did see that piss. And now, if we leave, and then we travel to, to the rowboat, we can't leave, can we? Or can we leave at this point? Yeah, we can leave at this point. But it's still gonna rob me of the television remote if I do that, so yeah, that doesn't work. So... I, my idea was that if this wasn't Solstice mode, then I should restart the game and do what I just did and wake up and Nico says, Hello, Shalag, and then I know I'm in Solstice, and then I do everything until I get to the PC again and see if I get some special message. It doesn't seem like I do, so yeah, I guess if you can figure out anything else that I should have done or any other way you can get a new document, then yeah, let me know, but... I think this whole theory is a bust for now, and the remote theory is also a bust, which is kind of a shame, because yeah, I was hoping I could somehow get to the end with that. I mean, maybe you can, if you keep it in Solstice, oh yeah, that would be weird, because you're not supposed to have it. Probably wouldn't even affect it, because the game wouldn't check for it, so there's no reason it would do anything, I would imagine. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm doing stuff that's not even possible to do within the game itself, which is kind of... There's no reason for me to test that kind of stuff, at least in my opinion. But yeah, I guess we'll just do some other testing now, like New Game Plus testing and stuff, because I don't want to get into reading George today, now that it's... I don't know, it's, it's again, it's late for me, but probably not for you, because who knows how fucking long these episodes are going to be. But there was one that I can test out right now in this save file, which is requiring Silver and the Amber while she's in the mine waiting at the cart. Because that's what's happening now. If I go and I teleport to the lookout point, Silver is no longer here, which is kind of interesting. So now, if I... I will have to go and uh, talk to the, the computer again and get a new code. Of course. Okay, I'm just gonna finish this up because I have to do a couple things. I just realized something I kind of have to test. Fuck, I'm gonna do it right now. Oh. Well, that's convenient. We're right here at the safe and we have the gas mask and everything. And now if I go down, the corruption is gonna happen. What if I just fast travel? Just get away from here. Oh shit. We just don't see the, the corruption. And then if we, like, go back to the cliffs, what happens then? If I just avoid going in those specific screens or uh, squares, I will never see the, the squares pop up? Huh. So then if I now come from below, the squares are just gonna pop up. Because it's when you hit the square that's, like, one step up. Two steps up, there we go. Yep, exactly. That's kind of neat. I mean, not really, but just something. It's new information that we've never seen before. 
And I now I will actually be right back again. I think I just realized a speedrun strat. When you're getting the uh, medical syringe, just go into that screen, go back out, and then teleport to dormitories. And it didn't work. Well, no, it kind of worked. Yeah, that's definitely faster than walking all the way there. Alright, here we go, finally. So now, we need the amber, but silver is nowhere to be seen. So if we go into the mine... I, I'm guessing we just have to complete the section before she will give me the amber, but let's see. I'll be waiting here if you need me. I do need you! I need the amber! God damn it. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I guess we get to test this out. Do you need anything? Nope. This is like your... Your one chance at turning away. And then you just go back to like a normal playthrough and we already know this. I've tried this before. Yep, turning back. Thank you. Do you want to head back? Let's head back. Now yeah, the minecart disappears so you can't do it again. And she disappeared as well. Okay. So that's how that works. Alright, and then if we go to her, I'll get the amber. And yeah, it she doesn't say anything different. Excuse me, miss, I found a robot and all of that. So, that's it. I think I'm gonna leave it there for today. Again, disappointed in the television remote because that is a line in the script. So I don't know if that's just like a remnant of a previous update where you could somehow keep the remote and they just fix that, but then the line is still in the script. I don't know, let me know if you have any ideas, I suppose. But at this point, I have some Solstice and New Game Plus things to test out and then that's kind of it. Oh, and I forgot to test the uh, when you're starting in New Game Plus, if you're in the very first house and you quit the game and then come back, will it say Nico feels uneasy? Or will she just say, Shalag, what happened? Or I I guess she would know. I don't even know. We'll we'll test that out next time or something. But I think I'm gonna do the uh if I can do my save magic and get to the point where we meet George in Solstice, we'll just do the George personalities in Solstice to begin with now, because well not to begin with, but next because those are actually interesting and then people who don't care about everything else can just like skip a couple episodes because this is what they might be waiting for and I'm waiting for it because they are fun. So we'll do that. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you then. Bye bye!